Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you the 10 times the drugstore just did it better. These are the drugstore products that came out in 2022 or a little bit before that I think trounced their luxury, bougie, and higher priced equivalents. I am always a huge advocate of saying, don't overpay for your skincare. Take a look at the whole market and realize that actually, at the drugstore, you can get some of the very best outcomes for your skin at a fraction of the cost of what some of the bigger brands would have us pay. This video, I'm gonna celebrate the best of the best when it comes to to drugstore skincare dupe. So sit back, relax, let's talk the 10 times the drugstore just did it better. Now, before we get into this video, just to remind you say, if you're as big a fan of affordable and drugstore skincare as I am, don't forget to reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. YouTube is run by this thing called the algorithm, and the more likes a video gets, the more widely it'll be distributed on the platform. I want everyone to hear this message, because with the cost of living going up, up and up at the moment, I know there's a lot of people out there taking a look at their luxury skincare items and thinking, can I actually do without this? Well, I'm here to say, you don't have to do away with these products. There are some better and more affordable ones on the market, which is kind of the purpose of today's video, to kick everything off in a super positive way into 2023. Now I've got a lot to get through, 10 whole products here, so I think it's time we cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now, kicking things off with an amazing dupe for the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. Now, this has been a staple in people's skincare routines for the past 70 or 80 years. It's got some really nice moisturising properties. It's great for wound healing, and people have been swearing by it and saying this is like their go-to moisturiser. With the invention, or well, the popularisation of slugging recently, this has kind of seen a new lease of life with lots of people using this as their product to slug with, providing that occlusive layer to lock in all their skincare. However, this comes with a relatively high price point and I'm here to say you can get the exact same formulation in this brand. This is the Lacura Miracle Cream, an exact like for like formulation dupe that is one fifth the price of the Elizabeth Arden version. Best thing about it, Elizabeth Arden isn't cruelty free, Lacura are. So you can get the exact same outcomes, less animal cruelty and a saving in your wallet. Like what's not to love about that? Whenever I do these style of drugstore dupes or affordable skincare videos, there's always gonna be a couple of comments that I read where people say, sometimes you get what you pay for. You need to overpay in order to get those enhanced results. Brands have kind of conditioned us to believe this over decades and decades, and it's never been the case. I would always say when you reach for a product, take a look at the formulation, take a look at the price point and work out, is this actual value for money or is there a cheaper option on the market? The eight hour cream has been a staple in people's skincare routines because there were very few alternatives. That's no longer the case. And honestly, when you can get the exact same formulation at a fraction of the cost, why wouldn't you make the switch? Now, no dupes video would be complete without a mention of the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Serum. This is one of the most well-studied and technology-packed vitamin C serums on planet Earth, but that does command a ridiculously high price point. It's over £100, around $150, and I find that one bottle of this will last me like a month and a half. I don't think you need to pay this much for really effective vitamin C serums. And whilst there's a lot of great data to back up just how efficacious this is, doesn't mean that all the other amazing and affordable drugstore vitamin Cs don't deliver the same outcomes. SkinCeuticals really trade off the amount of studies that they do backing up their product, which is definitely to be applauded. But just anecdotally, through my own trial, error, and experience with vitamin C serums, I've been able to get the exact same outcomes from a fraction of the cost. One of the main issues I actually have with the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic is that the brand claims this oxidizes at a much slower rate thanks to some of the technology in it. Well, actually, I've had quite a few of the bottles oxidize on me, and that really pains me when I'm paying upwards over £100 to access this product. I kind of want a really long shelf life. For me, the very best dupe for SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic comes courtesy of Geek and Gorgeous with their C Glow Serum. Okay, this doesn't have some of the fancy technology to stabilize the vitamin C in it, but it doesn't need to because they make this fresh every single week just for you. So it's not sitting on a dusty warehouse shelf. This is made in fresh batches. So actually, they do away with some of the costs associated with stabilizing it by just doing the right thing and making a fresh batch for you. So when it hits your door, it's gonna have the longest possible shelf life. I find that the Seat Glow by Geek and Gorgeous will last probably three months before it starts to oxidize, which actually was a lot better than the SkinCeuticals bottles that I've had. It also has a really nice blend of antioxidants alongside that vitamin C. So you're getting a very similar 
similar set of outcomes. You're avoiding the risk of oxidation by having it fresh every single week. And for me, with it being 15 pounds versus something like 100 pounds, honestly, this is a switch that's definitely worth making. I've got the exact same results from the Seat Glow Serum and I don't feel like I'm overpaying anymore. So it's win, 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 ting, ting, ting. Now, product number three comes a little bit left field because it's actually a drugstore skincare product itself. That's the Olay Beauty Fluid. Now, whilst this is drugstore, it's not as cheap as it used to be. Olay have been putting their prices up, up and up recently. And a lot of people have started to complain that the beauty fluid that's been a staple in people's skincare routines for decades is now quite expensive. I also take issue with the fact that Olay aren't a cruelty-free brand and they've kind of done nothing to move towards being one either, which seems a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. But don't worry, if you find yourself a little bit priced out of the Olay market, you can get the exact same results finished and experienced with that beauty fluid with this product. This is the non-buzzing number three Velvet Beauty Cream. So non-buzzing are a Korean brand, entirely cruelty free. This is a lot more affordable than that Olay Beauty Fluid and it has the exact same finish on the skin. You use a little of this before you put on your makeup and it'll glide on like a dream. It'll also stay put a lot longer. So it's kind of like a primer and a moisturizer in one. It feels so bougie and elegant, even though it's really, really affordable. What I love most is this has the exact same fragrance as the original Olay Beauty Fluid. That's not gonna be for everyone, but if you like the Olay Fluid and you want a light for light, cruelty free, affordable dupe, this is definitely the one that I would reach for and it's just really amazing makeup primer and moisturizer in one. Now, should we talk the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil? This is a product that launched the whole Drunk Elephant collection and the brand kind of went mad for Marula Oil and put it in just about every single one of their products. It is a really nice facial oil, but Drunk Elephant say that they're one of the only brands on the market to offer this and it's really something special. In truth, it's not. You can actually get the exact same ingredient at a fraction of the cost, courtesy of the ordinary with their virgin marula oil. When you choose a facial oil, make sure it's cold pressed. Cold pressed means a higher quality. It kind of prevents some of the damage, some of the compounds within it that heat treatment can have. So whilst I would definitely say look out for cold pressed in your facial oils, you don't need to overpay to achieve that. The ordinary have a wonderful range of cold pressed oils. Some of them are organic and they're just absolutely fabulous. This one by Drunk Elephant is a really nice addition to your skincare routine but kind of do the swap go for the ordinary one at one third the cost you'll get the exact same outcomes and it's an absolute pleasure for just dialing up the efficacy of your moisturizer i like to add a couple of drops of this into my favorite moisturizer apply it to the skin and you'll be hydrated to the gods. Now, you guys know I am no fan of Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare. I think this is like the worst example of overpriced, overpromising, and under-delivering skincare. It baffles me that people are still buying this in the quantity that they are. I think a lot of it is led by promotion, marketing, and celebrity endorsement. Apparently, last year, they turned over $150 million. That is such a waste of money, and all of that could be plowed into much better products available at the drugstore. I think one of the worst offenders from that line would be the Better B Niacinamide Serum. Niacinamide is in everything. You don't need to be paying £110 to get your hands on it. One of my favourite drugstore dupes is again by brand Geek and God, which I just referenced, which is their B Bomb Serum. Same concentration of niacinamide. I think it applies that little bit nicer to the skin, kind of sinks in that little bit easier, and it costs one tenth the price of the Dr. Barbara Sturm one. And um, what I find very funny about the Dr. Barbara Sturm line is they use that doctor in the title. They want to be all like science, science backed, but actually they've not done any clinical studies into the claims that they actually make. Make. This is something that they freely admit and I find this just a little bit off-putting. I don't expect brands that are selling products for like nine or ten pounds to go to the cost of going through all these clinical studies. It'd be nice if they did, but they don't always have to. However, if I'm paying upwards of 100, 110 dollars per serum, I would expect some science behind what the brand are claiming and some studies to back it up. So when they say this is the better B, better than what? There's nothing that actually proves that. And I believe this is a serum you could get the exact same duplet for at any drugstore. Walk in there, don't pay more than £10 for your niacinamide. Goodbye, Dr. Barbara Sturm. And hello, Bee Bomb by Geek and Gorgeous. Now, I'm going to spoil you just a little bit because I actually have two great dupes for the next bougie product. And that's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's not the most expensive of the luxury skincare items I'm mentioning today, but it has gone up in price recently. And in truth, there are some just better alternatives. This, I wasn't hugely 
impressed with from the start. You know, it does give a nice level of hydration when you first apply it, but I don't think it works the way that the brand would lead you to believe. It doesn't give you that overnight 24 hour hydration, that plumping to the lips. I think it gives a very temporary relief the way that any drugstore lip balm would achieve. If you want the exact same finish, appearance and texture, you can just reach for the Revolution Skincare Berry Lip Sleeping Mask practically the same formulation, basically in the same packaging too. And I think it's slightly more hydrating than the Laneige one. Also, cruelty-free, unlike Laneige, which is another big tick in the box. And there's another newcomer on the market, the Care Nell Berry Sleeping Mask as well, which is another wonderful dupe. I think this one is even cheaper than the Revolution Skincare one, though that will depend where in the world you live. And I've left links to all of these, as I will all the products mentioned today in the description box below. I think if you're reaching for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, don't. Put it to one side. Go for the Care Nell or the Revolution Skincare ones. I think you'll get a better experience at a fraction of the cost, and both are cruelty free. So what's not to love about that? When I was talking about the Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare line, I said a lot of their sales performance is linked to celebrity endorsement and whose name's attached to it. The same goes to the brand SK2. Now some of their products do genuinely work. I think the formulations are streets ahead of Dr. Barbara Sturm's line, but still it's way overpriced. And the best selling product is the SK2 Essence, which commands upwards of £100 price point here in the UK. I found the best dupe for this in 2022, and it's the secret key starting trend treatment essence. Basically the exact same formulation in a very, very similar looking product bottle. And this is an absolute treat for the skin. You put this on and instantly your skin is plumper. It's more hydrated. You can even use it if you're feeling super bougie between each serum step in your skincare routine for that ultimate plumpness and glass skin look. It's calming, it's soothing. And over time, some studies have even shown the ingredients in here can help fade hyperpigmentation. That has to be a winner. And this is 10% of the cost of of the SK2 Essence. I bought this for £12 and I keep buying it time and time again because it just works, it delivers and proves that you do, you can get those luxury outcomes on a drugstore budget. We're in the home straight but I still have some amazing options to go. The Sunday Riley UFO Clarifying Oil used to be one of my absolute favourites. It's got some salicylic acid in here. It's going to help decongest the pores, minimise any breakouts but do so in a way that's not too stripping or drying. I really do like oil-based salicylic acids. I think it offers something different, particularly if you have a very dryness prone skin type. However, with the launch of the Ordinary Salicylic Acid and Hydrus Solution, you really don't need to be reaching for this anymore. The Ordinary product is one third the cost for very, very similar outcomes. That oil base makes it rich and nourishing. It's got that salicylic acid fix, which is gonna decongest the pores, prevent any breakouts. I think using this as an effective all over exfoliator is a really good way to go. It adds back hydration rather than taking it out. And I do notice with consistent use, it fades any acne scouring or hyperpigmentation that I have. So I'm a huge convert from the Sunday Riley UFO, which is still a really good product, but onto the ordinary salicylic acid and hydrous solution. Similar outcomes, one third the price. Now for my final two recommendations, we're gonna to go to the Medicaid Crystal Retinal, a beautifully formulated retinal based product. Anti-aging prowess is unmatched, it's fabulous, but it also comes with a ridiculously high price point. Fortunately, in 2022, a lot more brands started formulated with Retinal, which is my favorite retinoid. It's a vitamin A derivative like Retinol is, but it works out a little bit quicker because it goes through fewer conversions in the skin in order to be effective, and I find it much less irritating on the skin. I would always reach for the Medicaid Crystal Retinal because it genuinely delivered great results and there were few alternatives. But now, courtesy of ELF with their Retinal Serum, this is a switch that's so easy to make. The ELF one is beautifully formulated, very similar concentration to the mid strength crystal retinals by Medicaid. And I actually think on application, it feels just a little bit more luxurious, that little bit more hydrating. And it's also got some other vitamin A derivatives in it to kind of boost the performance. I think you'll get very similar outcomes from using the ELF as you will the Medicaid, but it's roughly a quarter of the cost. This is a relatively new product and I did a little bit more of a deep dive into it in a recent shots video, which I'm gonna leave a link to up there. Definitely check that one out if you're tempted. But I think thanks to ELF, we can now cut the overall cost of our retinal in our skincare routine without having to compromise on the outcomes. Now finally, and I saved this one to last because this is one that I've been reaching for more and more frequently recently, especially because you know in those cooler winter months we might want to pick me up a little bit of an at-home spa moment. So we'll reach for masks. One of my favourites used to be the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. 
really great for hydrating the skin, but also, you know, doing a light exfoliation, nibbling away at those dead skin cells to reveal a radiant complexion. Well, this is still a relatively high price point product, but because you have Andalou Naturals and their pumpkin mask, you get the exact same formulation in the exact same packaging at a fraction of the cost. The Andalou Naturals one is roughly half the price of the Peter Thomas Roth, and I got a light for like experience with it. It feels just as nice on the skin. You get that same great exfoliation and your skin will be glowing to the gods after you've used it. So if you want to do a little at home spa pampering, definitely reach for the Andalou Naturals one. I got mine from Holland and Barrett where it was a buy one get one free sale at the time. And I'll link that below as well as some other options for those shopping globally. So there you have it guys, my top 10 products of 2022, which prove that sometimes the drugstore just does it better when it comes to amazing skincare. I would hate for anyone to feel they have to overpay in order to get the very best outcomes for their skin. That isn't and has never been the case. Shop these wonderful drugstore dupes, cut the cost of your skincare routine whilst maintaining your skin health and getting yourself glowing to the gods. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.